Hello everyone, welcome to Renew Your Health. I'm Anita and today we are here to do a wonderful chair yoga practice that is really good for anyone. Um, if you can stand up, you can certainly do these poses standing up, but if you need to begin in a chair or if you're wheelchair bound and have the ability to move your legs, you would get a lot out of this practice. Um, just know that whatever you do, everything is adaptable, right? A yoga is such an adaptable practice and it's a beginning. It's such a start to gain stability and um, mobility in every single muscle group and our joints. So that is the goal. It's a mindful practice where we pay attention on purpose to areas in our body that need attention. And what's the invitation always in these practices, whether you're doing the movement during the week or yoga on Fridays, it is to offer yourself love and kindness. In the mindful world, everyone, it's called self-compassion, self-love. And we need to have that first because when we have that, it's so empowering and then we can step out and just give it in such a, a way out into the world or to whoever is in our space whether in our workspace or home where we don't feel so drained or frazzled okay so this is self-care and that's the invitation have a wonderful practice we'll be here practicing for uh, between 10 and 15 minutes, but we will begin with centering always. So sitting up in your chair, nice and tall, your feet are touching the ground, and notice the ground beneath you. Allow your hands to sit comfortably on your lap. Allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. And just begin by accessing the breath. Paying attention to your inhale and your exhale. And notice how your body feels right now in this space. If you're tense or tired, you embrace however you feel. And it's okay because it's how you feel. You're noticing and you're not judging or being harsh. You're simply recognizing. And now for a moment, I'd like you to bring your attention to the sounds in the space that you're in and notice any sounds. You can't dismiss what's there. You can only recognize it, accept it, and just allow it to be there. Are there any scents or smells in the space that you're in. Again, you're allowing yourself to be fully present in that space, in this space. What's the air quality like? Are you warm, cool, comfortable? Just fully acknowledging where you are in this moment, accepting. And allowing yourself to be fully present. And let's say together, I am here. I am here. I am here. And just allow a gentle smile on your face, maybe an inner smile, 
knowing that you are here to self-care and to self-love. So with that, everyone, let's begin our practice with three sun breaths, okay? So big inhale, exhale. I know we need these sun breaths here. I haven't seen the sun in like three days. <laughs> inhale, exhale, inhale. Bring your hands to heart center, exhale. This is called Namaste Pose in a yoga practice. And let's offer our intention for this practice and see if we can spill it into the rest of the day. How do you want your practice to go? Inhale, reach up, exhale, roll the shoulders up, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, hold, exhale, release, ha, <sighs> and let that exhale be a big release. Now let's work on our necks, side to side. I know we always begin like this, and that's a good thing. All right, so go one more time through, inhale, exhale, connect to your breathing, pause in the center. Ear to shoulder, roll forward and then to the other side. You can exhale as you go forward and inhale as you go back. Yeah. How does that feel? How does your neck feel right now? Are you tight? Again, honor it, acknowledge. And we are paying attention to helping our necks get a little less stiff. Take a breath. Take your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, inhale, sitting up nice and tall you are. Exhale, keep your torso straight, full, uh, chin to or towards the chest. Inhale, let's do two more. Squeeze your shoulder blades back there. Exhale. Just pause to feel the stretch, everyone. We are not in a hurry. Inhale. Exhale, pause right here. Notice how you feel. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, do a big open, and we are opening, staying open to our day. Connect your hands, interlace your fingers. Inhale, come up. Exhale, a big open, open heart, open everything, open mind, yeah? Inhale, exhale, open. One more shoulder shrug, inhale. Exhale, all right, inhale, both arms up, palms face each other, exhale, slide the shoulders down the ears. Your arms can soften if you're really stiff and tight, I'll just allow. Eventually, you'll be able to reach up high as you practice more. Keep a soft gaze, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, we are going to do a slight twist, drop the arms, torso straight, See how far you can turn your chin towards your left shoulder. Elbows are relaxed. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Reach the arms up, inhale, big. Exhale, release the arms, sitting up nice and tall. Place one hand on your thigh, the other on your chair, and relax them. Inhale, nice deep breath, exhale. Maybe a little bigger twist, lower your chin. Take a breath, it's called breath connect. Inhale, exhale back into your Tadasana. Soft elbows if you need to, soft arms, but very strong you are. We're building our strength together. Inhale, now exhale, just bend to your left. So it's a side lateral stretch, soften the top arm. If you have a leg on the bottom of your chair and you're feeling supported, you can place the arm down the leg. If you need to, just place your hand here. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Just a little deeper stretch. Notice how you feel, everyone. Take a deep breath, inhale. Right here, let's open again. Exhale, because that feels so good. 
interlace the fingers. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release the arms into your strong mountain pose. Strong and sturdy as a mountain you are. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, side lateral stretch to your left. Make sure your neck is nice and mobile. Place it wherever it is and feels good. Soften the top arm, take another deep breath, connect. You're not, you know, you're stretching, but you're not forcing, and it should feel good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, once again, a big open. Roll the shoulders, inhale, exhale. So we're gonna do a forward fold here, and we're just gonna walk down our legs with the, with the um, chin, not tucked, but you know, forward. You're looking down at your feet, everyone. Slide your hands down the legs. Drop your head as much as you can and feel that wonderful stretch. If it doesn't feel wonderful and you're saying, ouch, just uh, mindfully take yourself back up to seated. Okay, relax the shoulders. Take a breath. Notice if that feels good on your back. And then now track yourself up your legs. So take your hands up your shins to the tops of your knees, tuck your chin. Inhale, exhale, ha. Now take your right leg forward. I know you probably can't see my foot, but you don't need to. It's on the floor as is yours. Pull your toes back, keep your foot on the floor. Take your hands on your opposite leg, your left leg, and just hinge forward without rounding the back. So be very aware of that. Begin to look at your toes and pull the toes back. If you have the ability and flexibility right now, take your hand, that right hand, and gently pull your toes back towards you. This is a wonderful hamstring and calf stretch. You're looking down at your toes. Deep breath, inhale, exhale. Nice going. Come on back, take a breath, recenter. Left leg is out. Um, in front of you, heel is on the floor. Track down the leg with your left hand. Look down at your toes, supporting yourself with your right hand on your right leg. If you have the ability and what? Flexibility, exactly. Pull the toes back. Gently though, gently, just to feel a wonderful stretch. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, track back up at the legs, centering again. So now we're just gonna sit back to loosen up. If you have the ability, you're sitting forward in your chair and back as far as you can in your chair, starting to lift your legs, um, just to loosen up the lower back still and activate these abdominal muscles. Your elbows or forearms can be touching the back of the chair that feels like you're supported, right? We need to feel supported. Oh, and if, I don't know what you can hear on my end, but I do have my washing machine going. <laughs> Can't dismiss that, and I'm not gonna stop it. It's part of our meditation in motion today. What do you have going on in your household? <laughs> All right, sit up. Take a breath. Now we're gonna go into um, taking your legs apart. And if you are in a wheelchair and if you have the ability, just even a little bit, this is good. If you're in a chair, a regular chair, and you are sitting with your hips forward, right? Hands here. So if we were standing, this would be a standing posture. And in yoga, let's bring our hands here. This is called goddess. Your shoulders are away from the ears. You're really strong but relaxed. Bring your hands up, straight palms facing forward. This is called victory pose. Slide the shoulders down the back, inhale, exhale, hold the pose. Bring your awareness to your power source, which is your core, your navel. That's where a lot of energy comes from. Go back to goddess. Take a breath. Men can be goddesses too, right? That's the, the male and the female, the yin and the yang, right? We need them both. 
All right, let's bring the arms down. We're gonna go into a warrior two. So in your chair, let's go left side, left leg is straight. And if you can take that left foot and bring it at a 90 degree, do it. But if it, don't force it, okay, do not. And then inch your uh, left leg out enough so don't fall off your chair. So make sure you're secure on your chair, please. Um, and turn the, that top foot, the, the left foot, so that it's kind of square um, to the wall in front of you. This is warrior two. Let's start with our hands here on our hips. If you're sitting up tall, relax your shoulders. Begin to feel your strength. And then reach the arms out. Inhale, exhale. We're nice and strong, but there's a softness. There's a peace to every posture. Breath, inhale, exhale. Then we go into this posture where we place the left arm on the left leg. Reach that top arm up high. Legs can go up or down, wherever you feel most comfortable. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Come back to your warrior two. Breath, connect. Go back to this uh, victory or first goddess pose. Reach the arms up, inhale, exhale to your warrior two on the other side. So just get your legs situated first. Left leg is straight, hips are forward, you're secure on your chair. Opening up our inner thighs and of course our hips. Right. Now reach the arms out, shoulder length nice and strong. Where are you looking? Look beyond. Take, pick a finger and just look beyond. Inhale, exhale, any tension in the body. Notice how you feel. Strong and centered you are. And say that. Strong and centered I am. Right arm on the right leg. Reach up high to touch your ceiling or the sky. <laughs> and I, I don't know if we did, we did, we did. Good. So if you have the ability, do the big lateral stretch here. That feels good. If not, we're here. And just deep breath, inhale, exhale. Make sure your neck's in a, a place of mobility. Come down, back up to warrior two. Inhale, exhale. Back here. This time, place your arms down, and we're going to do a forward fold from here. So bend forward. You're supported here. Keep your hands on your knees for as long as you need to. Reach the arms down if that feels good, and drop your head. You can put your hands on the floor in front of you and just feel what it's like to be in this forward fold. If you're in a wheelchair doing this, you know, you just do what you can always because every movement counts. Every movement counts. So whatever your body's allowing you to do. All right, everyone, let's roll up. So you definitely use support. You can walk your feet in a little bit. Put one hand on one knee and the other hand on the other knee. Spinal roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your feet in together. Recenter. Refocus. Let's take one Deep breath, sun breath. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. This is a wonderful time to just send a blessing out into the universe for peace. This is what I always do. I have for 20 plus years. After every yoga practice, it's sending good energy. And then back to those in our own lives that need good energy, blessings, prayer, love, and then uh, honor and acknowledge always your own self, your inner being, your goodness and your wisdom, and all with grace.